from building your house in politically unstable areas to houses next to super volcanoes, here are dangerous places to build houses. Number 14, House on a Rock. Talk about living in the middle of nowhere. This house was built on a rock on the Drina River in Serbia in May 2013. And for whatever reason, the homeowner thought it would be an ideal location to build a house. Any kind of flood or storm has the potential to wash it away. Maybe he's into fishing and can just reel in a few fish from his window? The house seems to be made of wood and he's really hoping the tide doesn't start to rise. Either way, this makes a great place to get away in peace. Number 13, Between Buildings. Can you imagine living between two buildings like this man here, just over an alleyway? This photo here displays one of the world's most narrow structures that is actually wedged between two existing buildings. It's only three feet at its most narrow point, which would probably make anyone feel a little bit claustrophobic. Some people say that going to alleyways late at night is risky, but when you live one, maybe it's a different story. The man who constructed it claims it was made to honor his family who died in the Holocaust and it will be used twice a year when he comes to visit Poland. Number 12. The Rock House If you think we've advanced from the Stone Age, think again. You'd expect Fred Flintstone to be walking out of here any minute now with his pet dinosaur. Although it's cleverly disguised as a large stone, this is a full functioning home in the Nas Mountains in Portugal and has become a huge tourist attraction. Is complete with windows, solar panels, windmills, a chimney, and doors on the exterior. In this photo, you see how difficult it is on Google Maps to actually tell it's a home. This house seriously rocks, but there's only one problem. When word got out about this house from the internet, robbery attempts took place, and this became kind of a dangerous house to live in. Number 11, the transparent house in Japan. Japan is maybe not the best place to build a transparent house due to its population density. There's also another thing, everyone can kind of stalk you. This house in Japan is completely see-through, offering the tenants absolutely no privacy whatsoever. But if you got nothing to hide, might as well, right? This transparent house is 914 square feet and the ones who live here say they love it because of all the great views it offers them, but people outside their house might have a great view too. The entire interior is white and the inhabitants wear this color in order to camouflage just a tad. Number 10, Coxlawton. Feel like getting away for a little bit in one of the coldest places on earth? Might as well do it in style at the Coxlawton Arctic Inn. Seems like the perfect place to chill, right? These igloo pods allow for a unique experience year round and allow for you to stay somewhat warm while you're checking out the Northern Lights. Hopefully it doesn't snow too much here or you might be kind of stuck. Although Finland is a pretty safe country, just something about this place all the way up north seems a little bit dangerous. Number 9. The Maldives Probably shouldn't build your house somewhere in the Maldives. Scientists are predicting that someday these beautiful tropical islands in the Indian Ocean will slowly sink and be completely submerged underwater. That certainly makes building a home here a little bit risky. It looks like a great place to visit, but who knows what will happen to this archipelago. One massive storm could essentially bring this place down. The elevation for more than 80% of these islands are no more than 3 feet. They've been struggling to keep their heads above water, literally, and the capital city of Mail requires a 10-foot wall to block out the ever-increasing water levels. Even tidal surges have been known to cause farmers serious problems here, and the outlook on the future of this nation is becoming more and more grim. Number 8. Palestine Israeli settlements began to sporadically pop up since the Seven Days War took place and the State of Israel was created. These houses are typically built in Palestinian territory and are occupied by the people of the Jewish community. Travel by outsiders is often forbidden and many are questioning the international legality of all this. Sometimes the communities don't even look like normal villages but more like fortresses as we see in this photo. It also includes areas in the Golan Heights, the West Bank, and Eastern Jerusalem, which don't technically fall under Israeli borders. These outposts are often strategically placed on top of hills with good vantage points, I mean views, of what's going on down below. You can also notice that there is barbed wire, possibly spotlights, and thick concrete walls that surround them. They probably wouldn't have to do that if it wasn't a dangerous place to build their houses. Number 7. Camden Nicknamed the most dangerous town in the USA, Camden, New Jersey has a population of over 77,000 people but had 13 homicides in July of 2012. The murder rate was 10 times worse in New York City in 2011 and it gradually increased. Camden's murder rate has already doubled the murder rate from 2015 that was in the month of May. 
The murders are not considered to be random, and the city struggles finding police willing to work in this crazy town. The city installed an extremely large amount of cameras, and many hope this will help make things safer. Many people have built houses here, only for them to be abandoned later on. Once they're abandoned, they're often moved into by homeless people. Many believe that more jobs need to be made or this city is likely to spiral out of control. Number 6. Groom Mine We're sure you've already thoroughly explored Area 51 with Google Maps already, but you might have missed something small. Located just a couple of miles from the infamous top secret military base of Area 51 is Groom Mine. Turns out someone's been living there the entire time since the 1800s and couldn't know the truth about Area 51. But that doesn't make it the safest place now, does it? Granted, they probably didn't know their home was going to be built near a dangerous place, but it just kind of turned out that way. They've been one of the very few people who've allowed to stay on the Nevada National Security side since they technically were there first. This kind of reminds you of that movie, The Hills Have Eyes, where a family encounters mutants who've been living on a bombing range. Anyways, according to some sources, they've had one heck of a view of nuclear bombs going off, experimental aircraft, and other crazy stuff. And you thought your neighbors were bad? Try having the US government next door. A couple years ago, the mining family relocated to Las Vegas and grew mine has been abandoned. Will the people who've lived there ever share their story? Number 5. Tornado Alley Tornadoes are known to affect an entire area in the USA known as Tornado Alley, which basically is from the middle of Texas, stretching north to Minnesota and even Montana. When supercells begin to form into tornadoes, they're certainly capable of destroying anything in their path and even make a cow fly at high speeds. This one hit Tornado Alley on June 14, 2016. You probably won't hear too much about tornadoes happening in other parts of the world, and the unique conditions in the middle of the United States seem to be just right in order to cause destruction. Texas seems to report the most devastating tornadoes, and other places around this area are quite bad too. One of the reasons why there's more trailer parks in the Tornado Alley than most places is because if you spend a lot of money to build a home here, it might get destroyed anyways by a tornado. Number 4. You're the Tapo Supervolcano You probably don't want to build your house next to a supervolcano. This one here is sitting on New Zealand's North Island and has produced two of the world's most violent eruptions in recent geological history. It's just a matter of time before it happens again, too. This active volcano began erupting 300,000 years ago, and within the past 10,000 years, there's been a major eruption roughly every 1,000 years. The last one happened about 1,800 years ago, meaning it's certainly overdue. What makes this particular volcano even more deadly is due to the fact that its magma is rhyolitic, meaning that the lava is thicker, very explosive, and filled with gas. This is due to its high silica content, and its eruptions can be quite violent, and the supervolcano's unrest can be recorded back to 1870, which is usually a sign. Many other little villages on this island would be affected as well. The crater is currently filled by a lake, but this wouldn't be enough to slow down the destruction by any means. Number 3. Living on the Edge when the person living in this home tells people he's living on the edge, he means that quite literally. It might look like your average home, but if you're afraid of heights or falling, this might not be the best place to live. This house gets the name Fallen Star by the UC San Diego architect Do Ho Su. The cottage was built from scratch and looks over the campus. It seems like it could make a great college party house, but hopefully having too many people inside won't cause it to crash. Number 2. Along the San Andreas Fault The picturesque city of San Francisco is really a ticking time bomb that could go off at any moment now. Not only is this fault line right next to where the California coastline is, which makes the area susceptible to flooding, hurricanes and whatnot, but the potential for a devastating earthquake along this major fault line, known as the San Andreas Fault, is just about possible every day. The same thing that usually creates beautiful hills and valleys where people want to live is the same thing that can cause landslides and earthquakes. What's unique about this fault line is that it's found from the southern part of California all the way up to San Francisco. Along the fault line is where the majority of Californians live and where celebrities have built Hollywood mega mansions. In fact, the city of San Francisco sits directly on top of it. The area along the San Andreas Fault is also quite susceptible to wildfires, which have wreaked much havoc. And number one, Kashmir. The area of Kashmir is well known for having border disputes between Pakistan and India. But other than that, this kind of would be a nice place to live. Here in this photo, you see a river separating the two countries that flows through the disputed territory of Kashmir. The locals mainly refer to the border as the line of control, which is not a line well respected by either nation. 
These two gates close each other off, with the one on the right side being India, and the one on the left side being Pakistan. You can probably feel the tension about to rise at any moment. There are certainly much more militarized zones like we see here, with a large amount of barbed wire and armed guards. Probably not somewhere you want to build a house.